Hello everybody. Happy New Year. 2023 is going to be a great year. I can feel it in my bones. I'm hoping anyway. Anyway, welcome. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I am. I hope you're all doing well for this grand new day of a new year. I am doing fantabulistic. I am very excited to be here on this first day of the new year, ready to do a project. And it just so happens that our new year falls on Sunday. And if you've been here before, you know what I do on Sundays. If not, let me explain. Ordinarily, I use a number generator. No, I use a number generator to get my colors. Ordinarily, I only use four numbers that I've generated. But on Sundays, I do something a little different. I call it Switch Up Sunday because I use a die to determine how many numbers I'm going to generate for how many colors. So say I roll a five, then that means I'm going to need to generate five colors. Now, with those colors, I have the option to call a mulligan. In other words, if one of those colors that has been generated is not going to work, no matter what I mix with it, no matter what I do, it's just not going to add any zest or beauty or anything to the project except ugly. So I will call a mulligan, which means I'll pull that color or colors and generate another color or colors to replace the colors that I have pulled away or that I have taken away. I think this will make sense once I go as I go. Um, I also have the, I can add additional colors, I can add the embellishments, and I can add or choose the project. I'm getting this all blah, 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 up. I'm sorry, but I think it'll make sense once I go. So let me generate, let me roll, then let's generate and go from there. How about that? Okay, let's go. Six. So that means I'm going to generate six numbers for six different colors. So first things first, generate. Oh, I got to put in the parameters. To date, I have 437 colors. So I'm going to enter one through 437. And now I'm going to hit generate. First number, 96. Second, 170. Third, 14. Fourth, 100. Fifth number, 118. And our last number we're generating, 364. That's a good spread that we have. Normally it's like been all high, like really, really high numbers lately. So I have generated six colors. Now I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to pull those colors. I'm going to see if there's any additional colors I'd like to add. I'm going to see which embellishments, if any, I'd like to add. And I'm going to pick the project as well as mix up some resin. So hang tight. I'll be back with all the goodies and further information. All you have to do is hang tight. Hey everybody, I'm back. Got all the goodies for our pouring party. I just can't figure out how to roll with this party, y'all. I got some gray colors. Let me go over them real quick. Um, I should put them in order. 96 is Silver Ash by Rolio. Next we have 170, which is Glacier. It's an alcohol ink by Ranger. Then I have 14, which is going to be Sapphire Ghost Blue. It's a pigment powder by Black Diamond. Then I have 100, which is Black Diamond's Black Onyx. It's a pigment powder. Then I have 118, which is Gray Blue by Sigwong, also an alcohol ink. And last, I have 364. This is a metallic powder by Let's Resin Silver. It's not a mica, and I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Um, but this is a metallic powder. It melts. It literally melts when it hits the resin. Okay, so if you noticed, it, these are pretty good colors. We got the blue, two matching blues, and then we got the ghost blue, sapphire ghost blue. So that's really good. Um, I was kind of thinking that I would mix this black onyx with this phantom black paste from Just Resin. Because I like what a paste does. And then... Um, put that around the outside and then come in with my other colors um, 
a thin lay a thin line of these close to the outside then this next and then I'm gonna do the blues in the middle I'm gonna have it clear and then I'm gonna put this in the middle so that'll be sticking out this is abalone shell this is like a I'm not quite sure what you call it it's little little pieces of um, I, I, glitter I mean that's the feel of glitter so I guess it's glitter shards it's from eye candy as you now know I'm an affiliate with them I had to try this to see what it is and I can't wait to use it in the middle of this platter I think it's gonna be great I can't get them all off my hand maybe I'm just gonna be abalone shell am I seeing that right abalone abalone a baloney sandwich is my first name <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do it y'all I'm sorry I gotta get all this off my finger I don't want to waste it okay now I've got it all over here oh biscuits and gravy I need a piece of tape okay so that's my plan man I don't really know if you understood that because I don't know that I understood it. I'm just going to start mixing and pouring. And let's see what happens, okay? Let's do that. And as soon as I get all these little tiny shards off of here. What in the heck? Don't do this over your mold. I knew better. I knew better and I still did it. And I can't get them off. I gotta get them off before we start pouring, y'all. So, just bear with me one second. Holy moly. I pick one up, I drop one. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, let's start pouring. I have mixed up 16 ounces of my resin of choice. ClearCast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's VOC free. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. It cures crystal clear. And one of the pluses, another plus, is it's budget friendly. I order it five gallons at a time. Really, really like it. Okay, so let's start. Let's get going. All right, first I'm gonna put in, since I'm doing this, I'm gonna put in a little bit. And remember, I'm only going around the outside with small, small amount. So what you do is you put in your mica first. This is really pretty. Put in your mica first. And then you add a little bit of resin and mix that up to make a paste before you add the rest of your resin in. This is the Sapphire Ghost Blue. Again, I'm just gonna do a small amount around this outside with this. And this one is the Black Onyx. If I can get it open. My fingers are gonna be black again because I don't have my gloves on. Oh man. I'm just now starting to get the normal color back in them. It's just impossible, I don't know why. Oh, I do know why, because I don't ever put my gloves on. But I'm putting them on, I'm putting them on right now. I'm doing it and doing it and doing it. I'm doing it, doing it, and doing it. All right. Black Onyx. Okay. Now we got our micas in. So let's pour a little resin. So 
Sorry guys, I don't have my sticks ready. I almost did a mulligan since this color is like pretty close to the black. But I said, nah. Let's roll with it. Very pretty. Okay, put that there. Sapphire goes blue. See that hint of blue in there? Awfully beautiful. See that blue hue? Do you see the blue hue? Alright, here we go with the black onyx. Now, we are going to figure out what we got to pour here. I only want a little bit in here to go around the outside. That should be good. Finish mixing this. Okay. Oh, I got to do this metal powder. I'm going to do that in a little cup in a little cup for the abalone shell. So we need just a little bit of this white or ghost sapphire blue. I really like this mold. It's the geo shape with the rock edges. See how thin that is? You see the, the rock edge? You see that? But I like it. I really, really like it. I really do. All right, there should be plenty of black. And I'm gonna mix in the pigment paste with that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And what we do with this, oh, I forgot to melt this a little bit. Mine has not been non-solidified <laughs> melted since I got it because when it comes over and it's in the plane and it's got the different um, temperatures it can solidify you know it'll go hot and then cold so I have not melted it since I got it I've just been using hunks like this all right so I'm gonna put that in there like that I believe that'll be enough for us. Don't need much paste to get some great results. I feel like I'm playing in the mud. All right, let's just put this over here, out of my way. Okay. My resin's really warm because what I did is after I mixed it, I said let it sit for 10 minutes and then I put it on my resin curing plate with some heat. Go ahead and dissipate any bubbles that we have. Go ahead and move up our working time because you lose a little bit of working time when you um, heat your resin, such as in a heat bath or on a resin curing plate. Okay. Now we finished that one. Whoops. Get that out of the way. Now I need a little bit for our silver. Very small amount. Very small amount for the abalone. It's probably perfect. Oh, what row? 
kind of just came pouring out. I should have known better. I'm anxious to see what this is going to look like. We shall see very soon. Okay. Now, I dump a little bit of this in there. Just a little bit, guys. It doesn't take much. Look at that. See how it just melts into the resin? Very, very pretty. These are metallic powders. Resin's getting really hot, so I got to get a, get some pep in my step. I'll go ahead and All right. This last little bit that I have in my jug, I'm going to put in this cup so I can pour it in the middle with the abalone, abalone, abalone. The pretty glitter that we have to go in the middle. This way I know what we got to work with. Which isn't much. Here I thought I was going to have it extra. Thinking I might be able to do the, uh, the matching coasters. But not so much. That that's okay. Let's get our blues going. And I'm a good squirter. I just like to squirt because drops just take too long. We know we want this dark because we're going up against the black. very pretty blue and this was the glacier by ranger let me grab a paper towel so we can see what we got best way to determine your color is just put it on a wet paper towel i mean a white paper towel i think that's good all right, now we're going with the gray blue by Sig Wong. Also an alcohol ink. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. Very pretty. Just enough difference between them, huh? All right. Well, we got our colors. Everything's mixed up. There's only one thing left to do. Let's pour. So let's go with this black first. This is the black with onyx with the Just Resin Black Paste. Nice for black. Black is so sexy. I always was heard, well, I often heard that black is good for attracting everything, especially men. 
always crazy to crack up when my girlfriend would say that. That's why she always wore black. No, I'm just playing. Okay. That was very sloppy, messy, but we got it. Let me grab a uh, wipe. My, my gloves are on, so my hands are clean. Yay! Definitely need a wipe. Okay, now let's go with the silver ash, I guess. I mean, I gotta use both of these colors, so I'm gonna put this in the middle. Okay, put more down this end this time. Okay, another one down. Still dealing with the sniffles. Still trying to remember not to sniff so much. All right, here we go with the Ghost Sapphire Blue. Mm, guess I'm gonna do it just like this, y'all. Wow, look how pretty that looks. That's gorgeous. What do y'all think? Pretty? Yeah? I think so. Yep. Resin is starting to get thick. Time to pour and pour and pour. Oh, it's like almost jelly. Oh, I think I waited too long. How am I going to get this in the middle? It's not exactly the way I wanted to do this, but... I'm hurrying, I am hurrying, I am hurrying before I lose my stuff. I'm going in the middle with the clear. Oh my gosh, it's too late. That is jellyfied. I can get that in there. If I can get this in there, then I can get a top coat on it to make it look pretty. Okay. Now I got this little silver that I need to go around. I'm not even going to be able to, I thought I had enough to fill this thing up. I didn't even fill it up.
Okay, this is not exactly what I envisioned. And it's really hard to judge a resin piece while it's not cured, in my opinion. I need to go around and pop some bubbles on this before it totally sets up. I think I'm gonna get all the bubbles out, y'all. He's trying. All right. That's what we got, y'all. I think I think. Okay. I have almost all of the abalone underneath. Almost all of it. Let me see if I can push those couple pieces under. Well, my friends, this is what we have. I don't know how our blues go together, but we worked with what we had, right? We'll see what the paste does with the micas and the alcohol inks, how they interact. Of course, we had some clear in there. Just clear alone has its own magical properties. Not magical, but you know. So, this is what we got. I'm going to come back to you guys and uh, if I can get it on my resin heat and cure and plate, then I can have this ready in about three and a half hours. If I can't get it on there, then I'll come back to you tomorrow, but I'm hoping to come back to you later. We'll see what happens with it. All right, guys, hang tight. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I'm back. You hopefully held tight and waited for me to come back. Here's our cured piece. I, um, eh, you know, I'm hoping to make it a little better. I got all these goodies that I'm going to see if I can add to it. Now, I can put a top coat on this. I have room. So, I can't put any rocks or glass or anything. Everything I'm going to need to do is glitter or paint or marker. And I'm new at this part, so I don't know what things are going to turn out like, but there's no time like the present to practice. Now I peeked on the other side. That's not going to be pretty. So my problem is, is this ridge is for this side to be up. Well, we're going to be unique and make this side up. And that's the only thing I can do because we don't want the other side. That's ugly. So we'll just make it a little more unique. So rather than you sit here and watch me try and struggle to do, make this a geode, that's my goal, to make it a pretty geode, I am going to put you on fast forward. Now the only way I know how to do this is stop my current, th this current part, when I stop talking I'm going to put it on hold and then go to um, time lapse. So there's going to be a a stop in between. I just wanted to go over a few things that I'm using. I'll be using uh, markers from Eroic, I think. These are oil-based paint pens. Um, I'll also maybe use my Sharpie and my Deco Color um, markers. I'm going to, these are all possibilities, not a guarantee. Uh, Aquamarine Glitter, it's iridescent chunky. 
This is by, um, oh man. Oh, glitter makes it, I believe. This is from Glitter Craze Polar Blast. Then this is from Glitter Craze. I really like this. I've been waiting to use it. Sea Spray. This is from Hobby Lobby Extra Fine Silver Peacock. This is a uh, Black Diamond Holographic Galaxy. To, <coughs> to get these to stay down, I'm going to use the DuraClear Satin Varnish. You just make like a little paste in your cups and you paint it on. And these, I have two different kinds. These are stickles and they're glitter glue. Takes a little while to dry, but that's okay. And these are liquid pearls from Ranger. All very pretty. They're dimensional paint is what they are. And except this is dimensional glue. You know. You know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to go over our original colors. Uh, in order, we had number 96, which is Rolio's Silver Ash. It's a mica powder. Then we had number 170. Oh, get ready to leak. This is Glacier and Alcohol Ink by Ranger. Then number 14 is Sapphire Ghost Blue by Black Diamond. It's a pigment powder. Then I had number... 100 which is black onyx by black diamond a pigment powder then we had 118 which is gray blue by sig wong an alcohol ink then we had 364 this is a metallic powder from let's resin in the color of silver those are the colors that were generated the colors i added or the color i added was just resin type or phantom black and it's a pigment paste from Just Resin, if I didn't say that. And then I also, from eye candy, put in the abalone shell in the middle, just to add a little purdy. Bling, bling. Okay, I think I have reviewed everything that I'm going to use, that I have used. Wish me luck, folks. Just wish me luck. I'll be back shortly. Just enjoy this time lapse and me not talking. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, as you see, I in the time lapse, I did the lines. I've let them dry. Now I'm going to go in with some of my glitter and the DuraClear, which is right here. I don't really have a game plan. I'm just going in. and we see what happens. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Aquamarine on this. I know it's a different shade, but I think this will pick up that color. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to check it out anyway. I'm going to probably put too much on there. What a ding dong. Got to have room for the glitter. See in my own. I just have to do more. I'm juggling, I'm juggling, I'm juggling, making a mess. Look, I might, I was doing a project with blue alcohol inks, of course, without my gloves on. And don't you know that sucker exploded on me? I just got the black mica out from underneath my nails almost completely. Almost. Alright, here we go. This is going to take a little while, so I'm thinking, let me do a little bit 
then I'm going to go into time lapse so you guys don't get bored to death. That is not my objectivity. Objectivity? That is not my hope. Hopes. That's not my agenda. You know what I mean. That's not what I want to do to you guys. I want you to be pleasantly entertained and getting some knowledge from my knowledge, from what I am doing. So, that's what I'm going to do. See me going around. You'll see me switch up colors. I'm just kind of going in. I don't really have a game plan. You will see it as I'm doing it. That's how we're going to go. All right, I'm going to put you on time lapse. Okay, guys, I'm taking you off time lapse for a minute. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. I like what's going on. I got to pull you in. Hold on. I got to move you. One second. You're getting ready to do. Not have any juice. So, excuse me. I had to do that. Um, so, I was debating. I have this color here. Because I need to do more here, right? But, should I do silver? I think I should do silver. Maybe I could do a line and then do silver. Hmm. Let me see. Because I did silver here, but that's holographic. I could do just regular. This is... This is not holographic. Oh, maybe it is. It is. Um, I could do... This is holographic, too. Holla! That's all I got. This is holographic. Then I got this one. This is silver peacock. I wish I had done more of this in there. But I didn't. So... What I could do is when I put the top coat on, put some in there then. So for the meantime, I will just make a little line of this close to here. I mean, it's a geode. It can't be messed up, right? It is what it is. is to make it pretty colors. And then it'll be fine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a close line or a line close to here. And then when I put the top coat on, I'll add some more of those in there. That should work. It should work. We shall see. All right, you're going back on time lapse. Alright guys, this is what I got. I'm going to let this dry, and then I think I should put a, a glitter there, don't y'all? I think I'm going to do that. One more time on time lapse, guys. One more time.
All right, guys. Now I've got all the glitter down other than what I'm going to do in the middle. So I'm going to let this dry, and then we're going to come back and put our clear coat on. So the next time you see me, I'll have the resin mixed up, ready to do the clear coat. I think things look pretty good. Granted, we can't see any of the colors that we put in there, but hey. We got lemons, so not really lemons. We just kind of didn't get... Oh, I don't know. We didn't get something superb with our colors, but we're making it superb with our glitter. I think. It'll be nice and sparkly anyway. So when I come back, we will do the top coat. Hang tight. Hey, everybody. I'm back. I'm back with our geode with everything all dried and cured. I feel like I kind of cheated. You can't even see the colors that were generated. You can on this side, but we're not looking at that side. We're looking at this side. I think these turned out pretty well. These colors work great together. The middle. Now, do I want to put more of these in the middle? Because I'm going to put the top coat on, so I could go ahead and put some in the top coat. And that'll give it more of a 3D look. Or do I just leave it and pour it on top? This is one time I really, really, really wish you guys could tell me what to do. <clears throat> I do think I wish there was some more of this, but I don't want it to be sticking above, so I'm not going to put it. I'm going to leave it. I'm just putting the top coat on it. That's what I'm doing. Oh, do I need to review the colors with you guys? Let's do it real quick. 96 is Rolio Silver Ash. 170 is Ranger Alcohol Ink Glacier. Number 14 is Sapphire Ghost Blue. It's a pigment powder by Black Diamond. Also by, by, bleh, by Black Diamond. Black Onyx, which is a pigment powder. That's number 100. Then we have 118, which is gray blue. It's an alcohol ink by Sigwong. And then we have number 364. It is a metallic powder in the color silver, and that's by Let's Resin. I chose to put in Just Resin's pigment paste, the color of Phantom Black. Uh, glitters, I used Silver Sparkle Holographic Glitter from Laura's Art Corner. In the middle, I used Abalone Shell from Eye Candy. From Glitter Craze, I used Polar Blast. That was here. Then I used Ultra Fine Silver Holographic. This is from Hobby Lobby. This was here. No, no, no. I'm sorry. This was here. This was the Silver Holographic from Laura's Art Corner. This is the bluish color. Uh, it's called Extra Fine Silver Peacock. That was this color. And that's from Hobby Lobby. And then we have the Ultra Fine Black Holographic, which is here. That's what we got. I've written, mixed up eight ounces of my clear crystal. Mm. I can't talk. I cannot talk. Clear Cast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. I mixed it up and I saw some extra bubbles in there because I didn't bring it in out of the heat and didn't put it in a hot water bath. So I put it on my resin heat curing plate and let it warm up for a little bit. Took care of those little pesky bubbles. So now we're going to pour this on. I probably have way too much. But that's okay. I always have something I can use resin for, right? So let's do this. And it's still in the mold, so that's pretty good. I always love it when you put the last coat on it. It's still in the mold. I think this turned out pretty good. Color. Do the colors turn out? I can I swear I cannot talk. I think the colors turned out great. What do y'all think? You'll have to let me know. Uh oh. I'm overflowing over there. It is um guess what? I don't have no gloves on. Imagine that. to wipe more of that out. I could raise it a little bit. But it's level, so it's going to come out this side. 
No, it seems to be doing because this side over here, it um, didn't have as much room left in the mold as this side did. So let's go with our handy dandy. Oh, I'm about to drop it. Our, our handy dandy popsicle sticks. Good for everything besides the popsicle. <gasps> oh no, I just made a pour on the other side. I bet y'all are laughing. Look at the other side. Holy moly, let me put the gloves on. I definitely put on too much. I said I had too much. I should have listened to myself. I knew I just tried to put it all in there. Now I got a big mess. I'm just trying to put the gloves on. It's not happening very easily here. So this is how we clean up a mess when we've overflowed everything. Overflowed, not overflown. We're going to come in here and we're going to take some of this resin out, just like so. Best way to do it. Just do it again. So you get it from where it's not leaking out anymore. It's a terrible waste. This is still overflowing back right here. Why, why, why did I do that? And it's also not very thick, so because I thinned it because it was on the heating plate. So really, I would not have been able to do that if it was out of the mold. It would have just been too thin because I always let it thicken up before I do a top coat when I have it out of the mold. Because it stays on better when it's thicker. You guys know that, right? If not, I just told you a secret. I really don't want to have to sand a bunch of stuff off. So that's why I'm making sure I wipe all this up. But I guess I can do this on my own. I'm just trying to show you how I clean up, so maybe it helps you in the future when you have a clean up. Because we all have a clean up, you know. Nobody's perfect. Some are pretty close out there, though. And I watch a lot of artists and I think, man, how does she got it so easy? How does she make it look so easy? I think we've done pretty good cleaning this up, guys. I don't see any more overflowing right here. One more white with the dry paper towel. I can't tell if that, yeah, that's down in there. Now I will come around with. A baby wipe. Make it nice and clean. Clean as a baby tiny. <laughs> okay. Now the rest of this I'll clean up when you're not with me. But this is how we clean up a mess. So now I'm going to pop some bubbles that I have stirred up with my torch, whatever it is. Oh, here it is. Quickly and efficiently, we move our torch. So we don't burn our resin or our mold. All right, guys. So there it is. It'll be ready. I'm not going to put this on the resin carrying plate. It's uh, Temperatures are good here. And I'm tired. So you're not going to see me till tomorrow anyway. I'm surprised I came out to finish this today. I was just um, tired. I had a medical procedure done. And it takes the poop out of me. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. I'll be back later. But for you, it'll be just a second. Hang tight. Hey everybody, I'm back. Our trip
tray is all cured with its top coat. I had a couple bubbles come up, actually quite a few. I did not do very good coming back and torching. So I'm a little disappointed about that. But I think it's beautiful other than that. I think the colors turned out well. Going, speaking of which, I'm going to go over the colors one last time. We had 96, which is Silver Ash by Rolio. We had 170, which is an alcohol ink from Ranger, the color Glacier. Then from Black Diamond, a pigment powder, the color is Sapphire Ghost Blue, number 14. Also from Black Diamond, another pigment powder, Black Onyx, number 100. And then number 118 is Gray Blue by Sigwong, an alcohol ink. Then we had number 364, which is Let's Resin, Let's Resin's Metallic Powder in the color silver. And I added number 327, Phantom Black. It's a pigment paste by Just Resin. Those are our colors. And I used a bunch of different glitters. I went over them before. I don't think I should go over them again. Or I don't think you need me to. Let's just wrap it up. Let's see the tray, Sam. I am. Here we go. Got some rough edges there. I have to clean those up. Huh? All right. Now remember, because of the way this is, technically this should be the front. Wow, look at all that black. Hey, it doesn't look bad, does it? Check that out. See the size came out silver? So, what I think I'll do is take my silver pen. What do y'all think? Think that'll look good? I'm going to try it. You will see the pictures at the end if I do it or not. But, hey, what side do you like better? This one or this one? You can use both. Flip it up. We're having a dark intimate night. You want to put some candlelight on it. Or if you're having people over for a party. It's beautiful, I think. I'd like to know what you think. If you like it, give me a thumbs up if you liked my video. Go ahead and subscribe while you're there. Or look down in your right hand corner to see the subscribe button. Just click on that. And I'm doing a giveaway right now for subscribers. All you have to do is like, subscribe, Send me a comment that you'd like to subscribe so I can send you a number. That number is going to be good for the giveaway. I will generate the winner with the number generating app. I'm going to pull the number once I've reached 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to get there. It's not going to take long either. I'm trying. All right, guys. That's it for me. Until next time. Bye.